Hi, my name is Dane and this is a Dane film. Given my channel's rise in popularity, I thought I'd finally let you guys have a peek behind the curtain to talk about the interesting film cameras I own. And in order to explain them, I'm going to have to explain the context in their purchase. When I was but a budding film photographer perusing the columns of ebay.com, I didn't realize the importance of certain lingo you'd need when looking for a new film camera. Certain ebay jargon such as when an item is sold as is versus tested and working. Okay, I know that makes me sound dumb, but yeah, there's no explanation. These, these don't really work. This one turns on, but doesn't stay on, even though I gave it fresh bats, which is inconvenient when I was looking forward to using it at an event. This one, the Olympus EC, is pretty cool. Small form factor and I was excited to use it, but uh, the battery compartment's totally fried. I mean, it works without batteries, but it's not fully manual, so I can only use one shutter speed, which is inconvenient. This one's pretty cool too, but the shutter doesn't really work. It, it does sometimes, but if I learned anything from Instagram, it's that I don't have to actually take pictures in order to show off this waist level finder. These cameras all came from a local camera shop's $5 vintage camera bin. There's something cathartic about being able to hold and handle some older cameras. So Jelena and I stop by some antique stores every now and then to find cameras and see how they feel. Most of these work. I, I mean, I've talked about the Konica before and I do plan to get that fixed. Uh, the Freedom Duel works, except for the flash, so I don't use it as much. And the extra light works too, but I haven't gotten film for it except for one absolutely cooked roll of expired Kodak Gold 400. And this Kodak Instamatic camera is pretty interesting because it takes 126 cartridge film, which is basically the 35mm equivalent to 110 cartridge film. And unlike 110 film, which is still being manufactured by Lomography, the only way to shoot 126 is to either get a sketchy expired roll or buy a cartridge and load it with 35mm film, which I don't got time for that. It is nice to fidget with though, like a more tactile disposable camera. I use three main cameras, the Nikormat FT2, the Kodak H35, and the Super Ricoh Flex. All of which at the moment are loaded uh, with film. Sorry, I feel like I have to emphasize with film because of the terminology photographers use. Anyways. These cameras I got from Etsy, and they both have expired film loaded into them for future videos, so subscribe to stay updated on that. And of course, my girlfriend Jolene got me the H35, and I love using all of them. I love that they're basically three different formats that are at three distinct levels of photography. The H35 for when I'm out, but taking pictures isn't my top priority. The Nikkor mat for when I want to go on a more casual shoot. And the Super Rico Flex, which because of the larger format, I plan to use whenever I need to blow something up. Like when you're printing a poster and you, and you blow it up because it's bigger. It, yeah. Okay, bye.